Welcome back to Rock Gardens. When you think of a monkey in a garden, you might imagine a tropical jungle. Well, the monkey you're about to meet actually lives in a three-story Spanish hacienda. He's Mickey Dolenz, one of the original members of the 1960s television phenomenon, The Monkees, and the lead singer on the first number one hit, Last Train to Clarksville. That song was followed by a string of hits, including I'm a Believer and I'm Not Your Stepping Stone. Today, Mickey continues to tour with the monkeys, but when he's not on the road, you can find him in his garden. Nestled in a canyon of native vegetation, this Southern California hideaway is home to the monkeys drummer, Mickey Dolenz. The last place I had was up in the hills, and it was like living in a treehouse and uh, a smaller place than this. But then I got engaged, and also I wanted a little more land, and I wanted a pool, and I wanted to kind of get out a little further from the, the hustle and bustle. We drove around looking at places, and you know, I just had in my mind's eye this kind of place. Mickey found his dream home, complete with free-form multi-level pool, intimate spaces for entertaining, and sweeping views of the Southern California hills. For Mickey, moving to the Spanish hacienda was something of a homecoming. When I grew up in the valley here, I remember as a kid, uh, it was uh, still a lot of orchards and farmland around. And I remember wandering around, and there was still an orchard, apricots and peaches and oranges, and, and I just had lunch <laughs> walking around. I've always loved having vegetables and fruit trees. And the first thing I did when I got to this house before I finished unpacking was I planted half a dozen fruit trees. I don't have a lot of flat land here at this place, so it's kind of difficult, but I have managed to, to chisel into the clay and, and plant a few things. The entrance leading up to Mickey's front door is lined with pots of roses, lilies, and an eagle statue. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't that be a monkey? The pool was one of the major selling points of the home, with its authentic Spanish tiles and the calming sound of its waterfall. Charlie. On hot summer days, Mickey and Donna welcome friends and family to chill out and take a dip. It's not just Mickey and pals who play around at the pool. An unwanted guest has been caught taking a dip. My fiance Donna is terrified of spiders. <laughs> I'm, I was on tour a couple of weeks ago. I'm backstage at a show, at a concert. I have my cell phone. I'm backstage. I'm just about ready to go on, and the cell phone rings, and it's Donna, and she's going, Oh, there's a tarantula in the pool! And I'm going, Well, just take it out with the... I can't touch it! I can't get it! And in the background, I'm hearing the band going, Dang, dear, 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 dear. Honey, I gotta go on and say, Here, yes, Mickey Dolan, say the monkey! Donna, take the thing and take it out of the pool, and boom, here we go. I gotta go. No, I can't. I can't touch it. <laughs> it was funny. Hey, hey, he's a monkey, and he likes to monkey around in his garden. And Mickey is more than happy to share a few hands-on tips. Go to plant a little petunia. You just dig a little hole in the ground and stick the sucker in there. <laughs> it's about it. And these are annuals. Little splash of color around. There we go. And the most important thing of all, the knee pad. <laughs> I don't have a gardener. I have a guy that does uh, maintenance. He comes in, and I will. I love pruning, and my children actually tease me about it because I will be out in the middle of nowhere taking a walk, and I'll have a little Swiss Army knife, and I will start pruning the trees in the park. I've done all the planting, and um, I plan to do a lot more. Got a couple of deadheading over here to do. Gotta take off the little deadheads and throw them away. Goodbye, deadhead. This one back about there. Out with the old, in with the new. With his passion for plants, a large vegetable garden has long been on Mickey's wish list. But for now, he's restricted to a planter box. Well, this is about the extent of my vegetable garden because I don't have enough flat land to actually plant a whole kind of farm, which I probably would if I, 
if I did have the land, but I did get these tomato plants. I mean, each one is a different variety. And I actually got a pretty nice sized little uh, tomato already growing there. I'll probably uh, have a nice salad eventually one of these days. Mickey and Donna take full advantage of their outdoor living space. Whether they're relaxing under the shade of a weeping willow or taking a moment to water their potted bougainvillea. So who could I give that to? How about you? <laughs> There's our big eagle. Scare, scare away all the evil demons. Tarantulas. Tarantulas. <laughs> I can't imagine uh, why I would move uh, from here unless I decided to move out of state or uh, uh, out of the country or something. I can't imagine. This is just, uh, you know, it's ideal. It's wonderful. It's private. It's quiet. It's, you know, it's everything. Uh, you no, know, it's lovely. We're very happy here. And for the rocker whose greatest hits include, I'm not your stepping stone, what garden would be complete without, <laughs> you guessed it. And these are my very own stepping stones. Get it? Stepping stones. <laughs> Who writes this stuff?